The first line charge in this problem is positive, so I'll draw it orange, and it lies on the x-axis. The second one is negative, so I'll draw it in a light blue color, and it lies at a position y equals 0.4 meters above the x-axis. We're asked to find the electric field at two locations, here between the two line charges, and up here at y equals 0.6, above both of them. We know from Coulomb's law that the electric field from a line of charge is 1 over 2 pi epsilon naught lambda, the charge per unit length, divided by r. And that field is directed radially away from the line charge if lambda is positive and towards the line charge if lambda is negative. In part a, when we're located here, we see the electric field from the orange line is away from it because lambda 1 is positive, and the field from lambda 2 is directed towards it because it's negative, so both are in the positive y direction. The total electric field then is E1 plus E2. That gives us 1 over 2 pi epsilon naught, lambda 1 over R1 in the positive y direction. I'll put magnitudes on the line charge densities because we know the directions explicitly, plus the contribution from the second one, lambda 2 over R2, also in the positive y direction. We know the value of epsilon naught. R1 is the perpendicular distance from the first line charge to the field point. And R2 is this distance. Both of those are 0.2 meters. So when we substitute the values of lambda 1 and lambda 2, and calculate we find the electric field at the first point is 6.47 times 10 to the fifth y hat newtons per coulomb. In part b, we're asked to find the electric field up here where y equals 0.6 meters. In this case, the electric field from the orange line is still directly away from it, and the electric field from the blue line is towards it. So one is now in the positive direction, and the other is in the negative y direction. I'll draw the r vectors here. The one from the orange charge I'll draw in orange. That'll have a length of 0.6 meters. And the one from the blue line of charge is here. That'll have a distance of 0.2 meters. The total electric field then is E1 plus E2. 1 over 2 pi epsilon naught lambda 1 over r1 in the positive y direction, lambda 2 over r2 in the negative y direction, where I've taken the absolute value of lambda 2 because we've explicitly included the negative sign. When you substitute the values for r1 and r2 and calculate, you find this value for the electric field. The negative y hat tells us that it is directed in the negative y direction.